Okay, I have a uh, kind of a bonus video for you that I think is important uh, and it's going to really help you because obviously you got this course because you wanted to learn how to, you know, put yourself out there, you know, market on YouTube and, uh, you know, kind of build, you know, build some content. Okay, now what I'm going to do is these are things you might not have thought of and I've got a video similar to this on my YouTube channel, but you may not have seen it, but I think it's important and I'll kind of categorize it specifically to YouTube and it's called the video content marketing strategy. Now, the thing that's real important that you understand is if you want to crush it on social media, one of the things you need to do is have tons of stuff out there. And what I like to do is what we call repurposing content. So I'm not going to take a long time on this. You understand it. I'll blow through it. You can go back, push pause, whatever. But basically what content is, how to create it, simplifying it, the distribution of it and content tools that will really help you maximize this. Now, if you think about it, what is content? Um, online, content is any of these things here. Video, audio, blog posts, websites, social posts, podcasts, PDFs, and so on. The best part about content online is that it lives forever. And it's like in having an employee that works for you 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, that you do not have to pay or babysit. Now, if you think about that, that's a really powerful thing. That's why I continue to put content out there about YouTube videos, Facebook videos, and so on, okay? So so that's one of the real important things. And uh, I actually, I've, I've done this a few times, so I actually skipped this slide here. Each piece of content becomes an employee. Content creates leverage, which means that it lives forever. It's evergreen. It's easily shared. It can and should be splintered, which is what I'm going to kind of cover and then in most cases, I use the same search engine optimization. Now, as an example of what I do is that this is kind of the big picture here is how to repurpose content. Now, let's say I did an interview as an example. I did an interview um, in a networking company with one of the top money, earner, top money earners and myself on my Facebook page. What I did is I downloaded the audio. Or I'm sorry, downloaded the video which became a video that I now posted on my YouTube channel. At the same time, I also downloaded the audio to create like a podcast. And then you could, you know, you can do different things as I'm, I'm showing this. You can get it transcribed, which would create like a book or an interview or another PDF or things like that. And if you had, you know, slides as an example, if I wanted to, I could make this video, download it, uh, you know, create a PowerPoint out of it, which I already have and so on. Okay. So, so the thing is, is when you, when you have a big piece of video, like a big, they call it a pillar piece of content. It's kind of how you can take, uh, like the main thing and then splinter it off. So as an example, like I did a recruiting training, uh, called how to recruit, how I personally recruited 1,302 people in my network marketing company. So it's, you know, it's it's probably like 20 minutes long. And then I was able to splinter that off and use it in pieces that I put as blog posts and, and so on. OK, then when you have your videos, you can take them, you know, whether you do them on Facebook or YouTube or vice versa, vice versa, you basically distribute them on different places. So now I've taken it as, as an example. If I did a video on Facebook originally, I would download it then upload it to my YouTube channel and then I would post my YouTube, take that video and post it on my blog page. So I've taken the same piece of content and I've, uh, you know, kind of put it on three, three areas. The other thing you can do is you can obviously pull the audio and create uh, blogs with it. I'm sorry, podcasts. Like, uh, and it's real, real easy and you can use, uh, I'll show you that in a second, to, you know, how to do that. Also, you can get things transcribed very cheaply, which I'm about to show you uh, some things I recommend that you could use it as a print thing, you know, to convert it into an email series or um, just a blog post again, or just put it into a PDF. Um, the other thing too, is if you have images, when you're going through it, you can just, you know, kind of screenshot those things and create those as GIFs uh, or GIFs, whatever you want to call them, create those posts, uh, you know, on those different things. And so basically, like I'm saying, is I take, you know, like a big piece, if it's a 20 or 30 minute long thing, and then a lot of times what I'll do is I'll, splint, I'll splinter it out and create micro pieces of content and put the images on the different channels, okay? So, you know, kind of like, uh, like as an example, I did a 40 minute video on uh, recruiting and there were some handful of stories in there that were really good that were maybe two or three minute long each stories. 
So then I went in and just broke those up. So now I had, I've taken one video and created into, you know, five, six, seven pieces of videos. Okay. There are plenty of platforms that you can put these on. There's Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, YouTube, and obviously podcasts. So if you think about that, if you took your micro, if you took micro content, so you have your big pillar piece, then you splintered that into maybe three or four pieces, and then you pushed those three or four on each one of those networks, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, six times, uh, let's say three, six times three is 18. That's 18 pieces of content you just got pushed out there. And obviously you can put your link to wherever you want them to go or your you know, call to action uh, in the text, okay? So you so you now just had 18 employees show up out of one video you did on YouTube, okay? Now, some content creation tools. If you want to do Facebook Lives, um, you know, that are a little more advanced, that are really cool, you can use a, a service called BeLive.tv, and you can you can do a free version or paid. If you want to create a, a podcast, this is really, really easy, uh, Spreaker.com. Basically, you know, you could create the video, download it off your off your video, you know, your, your YouTube video, and then upload it to Spreaker and you create it and you just add an image and you're, you're good to go. As an example, I created, that's exactly what I did. I went through a bunch of my YouTube videos and I started adding them uh, to my Spreaker, which now pushes to iTunes. So I actually have a legitimate podcast on here. Another piece, you know, and this obviously builds credibility and influence because you, you know, you got yourself out there and you can start marketing yourself. The other thing that I think is phenomenal that you should check into is um, this is a uh, speech to text transcription. And literally it'll be done in like five, five minutes or so uh, using their soft software. And it's only 10 cents per minute to, to uh, transcribe something. And it's really easy to edit. You just go in here and you, it'll pull your video. It'll pull all the text. So the video there is on the right that I did. And then in the video, they just pull the text. And then when you, you know, want to download it, you can uh, just pull that out there and you can create it, you know, put it into a Word document and use it as a post. You can use it as a, a PDF thing and as, as well. Okay. So like I said, I, you know, I, I did exactly that. I went in and used the residual formula video that I made, had it transcribed and created a blog post on it right on my web page. And then now I can use that as an ad uh, and so on. Okay. And so that was a video on YouTube. Okay. Uh, the other thing, just as an example, as you've seen me post this book multiple times in the trainings or, you know, online, all I did was take five old videos that I had done a couple years ago and was like, hey, that's actually some pretty good stuff. Um, I'll get them transcribed. So I took the videos, got them transcribed. Each one of those videos became a chapter in the book. I throw it together in a PDF. I was paid like 10 bucks to get the cover made on Fiverr or whatever. And then uh, now I got a uh, you know something I can offer as a as an opt-in. Uh, same thing with creating anything out there. I, I've already mentioned this multiple times. Canva.com for uh, creating your things. Um, you can go in there and edit and so on. Um, so you know if you think about it, I've got these different things out there now. I've got my podcast. I got my things on Facebook. I got my YouTube channel, and these all these all kind of feed on one on top of the other, and I kind of keep my colors uniform and my pictures and so on. But, you know, I just thought I'd throw this in here because sometimes you don't think of these things um, that, you know, you get overwhelmed with what's out there and, you know, you don't feel like you can, you can compete. But if you just take your YouTube videos and then do what I said in this video here, transcribe them, uh, splinter them out, you know, divide them up. If you do a longer one and create that as your pillar piece, you can multipurpose the single single thing that you did. And it'll really, uh, you know, really be a good a good way to get more content out there. So. Hopefully you enjoyed that one. It's just a short little bonus for you. And uh, I will see you on the other videos.